the next area is systems and workflow. Uh, the stronger your operational procedures and systems are, the stronger, more reliable and scalable your business will be. Um, so just a couple bullet points in regards to this area. Uh, you have to have project accountability. Um, policies and procedures workflows, they allow you for um, to be able to be away from the business and someone else can easily come and pick up from, from where you left off or uh, if an employee, particular employee is out and you, you need to refer to um, or to know exactly what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, policies and procedure workflows would work for you in that area. Um, Customer service, if, it's a, if you're a service business, customer service and operational logs, again, it allows for, um, you know, things happen and you might be, you, you may be able to bring on somebody else temporarily. It's easy if you have things documented that they can go look at and operate your business as it was operated prior. Um, budgeting, um, budgeting and accounting, so important. Um, both Joyce and I are, are accountants and we, we know the importance of budget, budgeting and accounting. Um, so all businesses should really review and develop a solid set of systems and workflows to ensure that there's a high quality, there's a quality and high performance, or it is a quality and high performance organizations. Um, the other thing I want to quickly touch on is tidying up the business. Uh, develop a document uh, that is called workflow and procedures that would identify tasks that can be delegated away from the business owner. Uh, this is very important. Again, I mentioned earlier, a lot of uh, businesses we work with, uh, the owner, I know as a business owner, you always think you have to be doing everything. No, you don't. Uh, if you have policies and procedures that allows you the, the opportunity to delegate that particular task to someone else uh, because they have guidance there that is readily uh, available. So a couple of questions that, that I want to ask you today in regards to uh, policies and procedures and systems. Do you have a document management system? Uh, do you have a reminder system of overdue tasks on, on projects? Uh, just a little tip, we here at Abacus, we, we started using uh, a, a task management system last year. Uh, and trust me, the, the amount of value that that's added to our lives, uh, we no longer have to keep everything up here. We have all of our tasks um and dates assigned they're also assigned to individuals that is all in one system so at any point in time we can go into our system and we can see exactly what tasks have been completed who they have been assigned to or we can reassign tasks um do you have policies and procedures uh, do you monitor and access your customer service issues if you're a customer service business uh, have you reviewed your liability terms in regards to health and safety? Uh, and do you have documented procedures to, to cover um, instances of uh, breaches in health and safety? Uh, do you have a health uh, safety incident register? Uh, very important in some types of businesses. Um, do you have a CRM, uh, a customer management system? That is so important, especially when you're a service um, industry, you're in the service industry. Um, just having that CRM allows you to connect to your customers and know their needs. Uh, do you regularly review your budget forecast and the financial health of your business? And that is simply by, you know, do you have accounting systems in place that you get regular reporting done? And as I said, accounting system, do you have a good accounting system that is being well managed? You know, all of these things really come under having proper systems, policies and procedures and workflows.